Hello everybody, the Quiet Atheist here. You know, I was browsing YouTube a little bit ago, trying to find some interesting videos. You know, I was curious to see what I might find out there. And that's when I came across a video made by Bible Thumping Wingnut. Now, naturally, I was curious to see what he had to say because the title of his video was Atheists Are Delusional Liars. Now, when I read this particular title, I thought about it for a minute and I came up with the conclusion that Bible Thumping Wingnut will never learn from his mistakes. He will always continue to spew the same stuff over and over and over again. But anyway, I decided to take a look at the video. Now, in this particular video was another Christian talking. It wasn't Bible Thumping Wingnut this time. And I listened to the whole video, and the more I listened to it, the more my brain literally was in pain. And let me tell you why. This particular individual thinks that atheists don't exist. Now, I'm going to be responding to this particular video in sections, because there are a few things that I wanted to talk about in this particular video. So with that said, let's get on to the video at hand here. And at the end of this video that I'm making today, please feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd really like to know what you guys think about this issue. This particular individual that I'm going to be responding to in this video goes by the name of RDF Treeman. And he decided to take it upon himself right at the beginning of his video to make the statement that atheists do not exist. Now, naturally, when I sat here and I thought about that particular statement, I literally laughed my ass off. Because obviously it is a ridiculous statement. And I'm going to refute his statement right here and now by saying, Hi, I am the Quiet Atheist. CRDF Treatment, your statement has just been refuted. The reason why RDF Tree Man says that atheists don't exist is because of the fact he says that we like to lie. We know that God exists and that we suppress the truth. He is basically calling us liars. He says that we like to bathe in our own sin, basically, and that we are without excuse. Now, naturally, when I sit here and listen to what he has to say about these particular things, I literally laugh my ass off because these claims are ridiculous. You see, you get a lot of these presuppositionalists, if you will, make these same tired old claims over and over and over again. They say that we do know that God exists. Now, RDF Treeman and I really disagree with your position here. And here's why. In order for us to know that something does exist, there has to be evidence showing that this particular thing does exist. So without any evidence, all you are doing is just talking in the wind. You have to provide me with evidence of your position. Yet you and a lot of other presuppositionalists like you will continue to avoid this all of the time. You guys like to dodge questions. You guys like to come up with excuses. You guys like to answer questions with questions. You don't really answer the particular questions that are asked to you. You just keep going on and on and on. But you do realize that you are the ones that have to provide evidence. And that is all there is to it. Because you guys are the ones making the claim here. So like I said, in order for me to know that something exists, there has to be evidence showing that it does exist. And that RDF tree man is something you do not have. You do not have any evidence. Despite the fact that RDF tree man has been refuted with the particular statement he has made, he continues to go on. He continues to move forward by saying that we actually know that God exists. This time he's saying that we know it in our hearts, basically. Well, RDF Tree Man, I'm going to have to disagree with you yet again. Show me a heart that has emotion. Show me a heart that literally can know things. If you could show me a heart with these kind of capabilities, I will believe you. See, to me, a heart is nothing more than a muscle. 
It pumps blood to your body. It is incapable of having emotions. It is incapable of thinking. It is incapable of doing anything. Period. See, all of these emotions that you feel and all of these other things that you feel come from your brain. So when you see, you know it in your heart, it really doesn't make any sense. Because like I said before, your heart is incapable of doing any of these things. And you will never give me evidence to prove otherwise. And I know that you're going to continue to move on forward and forward with the same old tired arguments. Another thing that he likes to say, besides we do know that God exists, is the fact that we know by the heavens. While there's no evidence to show that there is a heaven, yet again we are confronted with this particular problem about evidence. Our dear tree man, you have to show me that there is evidence for this heaven you speak of. You say that we know it by the stars. You say that we know it by creation. You say that we know it by the order of creation. You say that we know it by the intelligence of creation. You say that we know it by the design of creation. You say that we know it by a lot of other things in your particular video. But yet again, you continue to not give us any evidence for this particular claim of yours. You say that we know by all of these things that God does exist. Yet, you do not provide any evidence of this God existing in the first place. So how can you know that he exists without any evidence? I'll tell you why you think you know. What you got is blind faith. And to me, faith is beyond what the mind can perceive as a reality. I really want you to pay attention to what I have to say here, RDF Tree Man. All of these things that you say really doesn't make any sense. Another thing that you like to say is the fact that everything has to have a source. Everything has a source. And you know, this part I'm going to d agree with you on. However, when it comes to religion and when it comes to your God being this source, if you will, I'm going to have to disagree with you. And I know one of the common reactions that you theists like to have is the fact that you love to ask, were you there? No, I wasn't there. And neither were you. You see, we do not know what happened at the beginning. We do not know about the source of this if you will. But I'll tell you right now that science is pointing in the right direction. Science doesn't pretend to know what happened in the beginning. You guys on the other hand are pretending to know. Show me the evidence of all of these things that you claim. Show me the evidence, plain and simple. And that's basically what I have to say to you, RDF Tree Man. All you are doing is rambling. Rambling about this, rambling about that, and you're not showing me any kind of evidence for anything. You're not showing any other atheist any kind of evidence for anything. So when you made this video, you said a lot of things that didn't make sense. So in all actuality, before you made this particular video, you should have thought about it a lot more. You should have thought about what you were going to say in this video. Because it seems to me that you weren't really thinking about anything. You just wanted to throw these religious things out at everybody and expect everybody to buy it. When in all actuality, and obviously that is not the case, what you had to say in this particular video is preposterous. And the sooner you realize that, the better. The sooner you realize that you have to have evidence for all of this stuff that you claim, 
the better off you will be. For if you don't have any evidence for any of these claims, then I suggest you abandon your campaign in this particular discussion. Because it is not going to get you anywhere. It is not going to get you to another platform. It is not going to get you to another audience. Except for the audience that already buys into your stuff. But if you are looking to go beyond your original audience, be expected to provide evidence. Expect to be asked for the evidence. And if you cannot, then I suggest you abandon your campaign, like I said. So RDF, Tree Man, in short, I know that this was probably a bit rough for you. I know that this was probably a bit rough for the Bible Thumping Wingnut. Because you guys really don't know any better. And I think that you guys will never learn when it comes to these things. You guys think that the presuppositionalist argument is something that is awesome. When in all actuality, you got one of your own saying that the presuppositionalist argument isn't compelling. It's not compelling. It's not meant to be compelling. And that's someone within your own little circle there. And that just makes me laugh, you know, because the presuppositional argument is a dishonest approach to any discussion whatsoever. So RDF tree men, you need to realize that. Bible thumping wingnut, you need to realize that. Matthew 419, you need to realize that. Side 10 Bruggen Kate, especially you, need to realize that. Because you are basically the originator of this particular argument. Well, the reason why I say originator, Sai, is because you're the first one that I have seen to come out with this particular argument. And all of you individuals need to realize that it is lame. It is a cop-out. You guys just are incapable of having any kind of rational discussion. Plain and simple. And I suggest, like I said, that all of you abandon your campaign with this presuppositionalist nonsense. And that is all I have to say about this. So subscribers of mine, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I'd really like to see your thoughts on this. Also, the links to the particular videos that I discussed today in this video will also be in the description down below for you guys to take a look at as well. But like I said, let me know what you guys think, you know, because the ridiculousness of all of this nonsense really tells me a lot. And it tells me that Christians are incapable of thinking for themselves. They like to claim victory all of the time, despite the evidence to the contrary. That is a habit of theirs. And that's what I wanted to say. So the quiet atheist is out. And remember, if you can't be good, be good at it. Most of all, thank you for watching.